iOS 14 features what is probably the biggest change to the iPhone interface ever, and that's the ability to move widgets onto your home screens. Currently on this iPhone, I have a standard home screen that has the same basic look that it's had for over a decade. I have two home screens with app icons that I can swipe back and forth between. Swipe left to right on the main home screen and we're presented with our widgets. I have a few of the new widgets here. At the top I have the calendar and battery widgets. Both of these are in the small size. Below is the stocks widget which is in the medium size and then the news widget which is in the large size. Each widget size is equal to a certain portion of the home screen grid. Small widgets take up the same area as four app icons. Medium widgets are the same as eight app icons, and the large widgets are equal to 16 app icons. So now let's edit the home screen. We can do this with a prolonged tap and hold, or tap and hold for a second, and then hit the edit home screen button. Remember that we can do this from any home screen or from the widget screen. So now let's drag the small calendar widget over to my main home screen. Notice that I can put this anywhere on this screen and it will always displace four app icons. I'm going to drop it in the upper left. The displaced app icons have been bumped over to the second home screen. Now let's bring over the medium-sized stocks widget. This can be placed in the top, middle, or bottom third of the home screen. I'm going to leave it in the middle. Now let's bring over the large news widget. That displaces the medium-sized stock widget over to the next home screen as well. So this can provide a ton of flexibility as far as how you want to set up your home screens. If you only use a few apps most of the time, having their widgets on the main home screen might be a good option. I'm going to bring up my personal iPhone now, and this is my current home screen in iOS 14. Just five widgets and then the dock below. On the next screen I have app icons for other apps that I often use. And on the next page are even more app icons that are organized into folders. And then on the next screen, we have the new app library, which we'll cover later on. 